actually. Welcome back, guys. It's time to get rid of the squeak coming from inside the clutch fork over here. I've already loosened the nuts over here. You don't have to remove the clutch slave cylinder, but you do have to get the rod out of the way. Remove this bolt. Push it in and just take it out. I will be removing this, however, because I have drained the system because there's a leak in the clutch master cylinder. Okay, this seems to be another piston rod, a pivot joint, just like the one we have on the slave cylinder. So that does seem all dried up. So that must be where the squeak is coming from. Okay, I don't think I can do any better than this. Hopefully the grease will work its way in. Just put it back in position. I moved it here forward, push it back. That's its proper resting position. This is the old boot. As you can see, it's cooked. Got a brand new replacement over here. Apply molly grease on the end of this piston rod. Push it in and move it in place. These bolts are torqued to 16 pound foot. When torquing them down, push this towards the fork. You want as little gap as possible between this rod and the fork. If there is a gap between the piston rod and the fork, you may hear it rattling on idle. Okay, time for the test. Okay, I'm not sure if the mic picked up on that, but I would say the noise is 95% gone. Still a tiny bit left. Maybe the grease needs a bit more time to work itself in, but I'm happy with this result. With the engine running, there's no way I'm going to hear anything. So overall, pretty pleased with the result. The only thing left now is that minor leak in the clutch master cylinder. That will be the last video of this series. Thanks for watching.